Okay, today I want to talk about normalization. Now, what is normalization? Normalization is something that makes everything louder. And I mean everything louder. It's different from compression, which just makes the loud stuff softer and the softer stuff louder. There's a big difference. So let me demonstrate. Let me show you uh, how we do this with a recording. You hear that click? Pure music. Go ahead, try it a few more times. Solid, low U-factor windows like this let in the light, keep energy bills lower, and shut out the neighbor's noise, which is important stuff when it's nap time. Okay, that's me recording at my normal level. So if we highlight this and want to normalize it, and we can normalize it to, say, minus 1, and here's what it looks like normalized, but you really want to do your normalization after you do all your processing. And I'll explain that to you in a second, but let's listen to it just normalized. You hear that click? Pure music. Go ahead, try it a few more times. Solid, low U-factor windows like this let in the light, keep energy bills lower, and shut out the neighbor's noise, which is important stuff when it's nap time. So you see, it's louder, but it makes everything louder. So let's take it back to where it was originally, like this. And let's first get rid of the background noise, because what happens is, is it makes the background loud too, and we, do, we want to avoid that. So I'll check the noise gate settings here. We'll explain noise gates another time, but suffice to say it's a better way to get rid of background noise. Now, uh, let's listen to this and see what it sounds like without the background noise. You hear that click? Pure music. Go ahead, try it a few more times. Solid, low U. You hear that click? So we've removed any background noise, which was very minor in my studio. And uh, now what we want to do is we want to do the processing that I do. I have a, a preset called CompEQ, which is a compressor, which we'll talk about another time, and an equalization to take a little bit of the low end off my voice. And as you can see, it makes the hotter stuff a little quieter and the quieter stuff even with it. Let's give this a listen now. You hear that click? Pure music. Go ahead, try it a few more times. Solid, low U-factor windows like this let in the light, keep energy bills lower, and shut out the neighbor's noise, which is important stuff when it's nap time. And that's all the processing that I would do. I changed the equalization curve a little bit. I reduced everything so everything's even using compression. And now, now is when I would use normalization to get it up to, in my case, I like to use minus one. Now, some people might think that's a little loud, and it looks loud, but it's not overmodulating. You hear that click? Pure music. Go ahead, try it a few more times. Solid, low U-factor windows like this let in the light, keep energy bills lower, and shut out the neighbor's noise, which is important stuff when it's nap time. So those of you who tend to record too low, again, you're going to make the background noise louder when you use normalization. So you want to get rid of it, and you want to then boost your signal up to as loud as you possibly can without overmodulating. That's normalization. So the bottom line is you want to do all of your processing first. You want to do your compression, your noise reduction, all these other things that you do, all your editing, you want to do that first. Your final product, if it's not up to minus three or minus one, depending on what your preference is, then you use normalization. You also want to record at as full a volume as you can. And again, as you saw, it's not overmodulated when you normalize to minus one or to minus three. It's loud, but it's really clear. And that's my tip for the week.